Welcome to Patch the Core. My name is Stephen Dawes, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the game against Luton Town. Now, sometimes being a Palace fan isn't easy, and it means that sometimes you have to uh, deal with games like we did against Luton Town. Now, I know there's been a lot of um, fans on uh, on Twitter and other Facebook and other social media accounts that have been very unhappy with the way things are, and maybe even calling for Roy Hodgson's head. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to, to give you my opinion on that until later on in the video. To talk about the game itself, I felt that um, obviously you know when you think of Luton Town, they hadn't won a Premier League game up until this point, and you know you think you know we've, we've got to have a good result against Luton Town. You know they're they're at the bottom of the you know Premier League. They're in the relegation zone. You know we've got to be able to do something. We've got to be able to get a result here, and. You know, on paper, you would probably say that was true. And I'm not going to sit here and defend what we did or how we played or, or the manager or anything like that. That's not what this channel was about. It's about trying to give a balanced opinion on what I think and happened in the game and, and things like that. So I, I personally thought that we would get uh, a result of Luton Town. I thought that uh, we wouldn't necessarily be a walk, a walk in the park or that you know wouldn't necessarily be annihilating them. But I thought we'd get a result. Unfortunately, that wasn't to be, but um, I don't think it was because of a lack of trying necessarily. Uh, you know, when when you look at the game, I thought that we had so many chances to score a goal. Sometimes it was down to uh, a lack of finishing ability, or or you know uh, that final that final impetus to score the goal. Uh, sometimes it was down to you know a, a VAR check, which said that you know Edward, who scored his goal. The ball touched his hand. Now, of course, I don't think he did it intentionally, but it's a handball, so it was disallowed, and that was a goal. Uh, the, you know, the Luton goalkeeper had an outstanding game, made three or four or more outstanding saves. Uh, some of the some of the shots were just straight down the keeper's throat. I mean, you know, the Eze free kick just went straight at him, so that was you know one of those things. We hit the crossbar. Uh, we hit the keeper many times. It, you know, it's. it's when you see that, when you see the game, you, you see the fact that yes, okay, there were individual errors, and I think that you know at the back we're not as solid as we have been uh, previously. Now I'm not sure that's down to Roy Hodgson necessarily. I think that might be down to many different factors, but I think we're not quite as solid as we were at the back. And when you look at Luton's second goal, I think that there was um, you know there was a mistake there. Now whether Sam Johnson should have come out and claimed that, or whether Gate or whether uh, Anderson should have just kicked it out the way, got rid of it. I don't know, but it, you know it was one of those. They were both in two two minds what to do, and it ended up falling to a Luton Town player who scored the goal. Now that kind of thing is an individual error. It's, it's a mistake by the, by you know Johnson or or Anderson or whoever you want to lay the blame on. But I think that that's that's something that you can't always legislate with as a manager or as a you know as a team. And you know you look at how you know, we had Eze back, we had Elise back. He was in the team, and everything was looking really good for us. Elise had a good game. I thought Elise had a really good game. The goal he scored was phenomenal. Would have been goal of the season if it hadn't been from for the Manchester United game uh, that had just gone by. Um, would have been goal of the season, I think. But anyway. I think that you know we had so many positives in that game. That it's, it, you know we had so many shots on goal. Any other day, I think we would have gone in that. We would have left the game three four nil or three four one, something like, three or four one, something like that. Any other day, uh, you know, Luton Town had a bit of luck. They had uh, an outstanding display by their goalkeeper. Um, you know, we missed a few chances we should probably have scored. But again, that's down to individual finishing and, and the fact that we don't have a really, really good striker. And, you know, when you look at things like that, it's, yes, it's disappointing. To lose to Luton Town is very disappointing. I'm not going to say otherwise. But it's not necessarily as, a, as, as, as dismal as some Palace fans are making it out to be. Yes, it is a worry. And it's certainly not something you want to continue with. But it isn't necessarily as bad as people are making out. Now, I'm not saying that Roy Hodgson is the answer to our prayers. I'm not saying that, you know, there isn't something going on. I, I think there is something going on. I think that there is a, there seems to be a little bit of a lack of confidence going on. Uh, as I said, Roy Hodgson hasn't been himself over the last few weeks and months. 
whether the, you know the pressure of the game is getting to him or the fact that he's had these serious injuries and i'll get on to the more injuries we've got in a moment but you know we we really need to do something in this tra january transfer window to try and um get things in the right direction now uh, as i uh, got tackled and got a, a, a knock to his ankle got an ankle injury hopefully it's not going to be a serious one um but it's obviously something that, given the fact that he's only just returned from injury, hopefully it's going to be something he's going to be able to shake off quite quickly. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Decoure is a huge worry for me. Uh, got stretched off, went down without anyone around him. Um, the news is that it's an, it's an Achilles tendon injury and that he's going to be out for five or six months. So that's the season pretty much over for him. And, you know, he is one of our huge players in you know in the middle there he is huge for us and yes Hughes is going to come in and Hughes will do a job I'm not I, I don't think we're going to be as strong in the middle without Decore no way we're going to be as strong you know Lerma is, is, is a good player in the middle there he and Decore have had a really good relationship going on in the middle there working really hard but it's going to be a huge blow to have um, to have him missing for well the remainder of the season pretty much so this January transfer window is, is incredibly important to us. We need to get someone in, or at least on loan, to support us in the middle. Possibly a striker as well, I think. Um, yeah, people talked about Ward. Yeah, he's slowing down. Um, I don't think that he is uh, the player that he used to be, of course. But I think, priority-wise, I think we need to get a midfielder in now. Someone who can take over from the Jacure while he's injured. Um, we need someone up front who's going to score goals for us and you know it could be a target person for Eze and Elise and things like that and yeah it would be great to get a left back or something like that to come in as well or right back but I don't think it's going to I don't think it's, we're going to get three loans in James transfer window but I'd love us to get at least two because I think if you're going to prioritise anything it's got to be the midfield we need to get someone in to take over the takeover from Dekure while he is out. That's the way it is. You know, we've got, you know, Raksaki's now injured. He's got uh, an injury as well, so he's going to be out for a little while. This isn't the only thing unique to Crystal Palace. Lots of Premier League teams have got injuries at the moment. So, you know, why that is the case is for somebody else to think about. But, you know, the injuries are, to key players, the injuries are, are, are still there. And, you know, we get one person back, we lose another person. So at the moment, it's very difficult. And I don't think necessarily changing manager is going to make any difference because who are we who are we going to get? You know, we, we couldn't get anyone in, in in the summer, which is why we asked Roy Hodgson to come back. We couldn't get anyone the year before that. You know, we ended up getting Patrick Vieira at the last minute. Um, when we got rid of Patrick Vieira, they brought in Roy Hodgson, I think, because there wasn't anyone else. So at the moment, you know, who's going to take over? Who would come into the club? I don't think we've got a huge budget in terms of transfers, if we've got a budget at all, because of the stand that's going on and things like that at the moment. So who would come in? Who could take over this job and, and, and do it any better than he has at the moment? I mean, you know, yes, we've lost a bit of edge in, in defence, but we've got the attacking players to win games. We certainly do. And, and, and he's not necessarily sitting everyone back and working forward. He, you know, we are trying to score goals and we are trying to create chances. It's just the case that it isn't quite working at the moment. And I don't know whether a, a new manager will make any difference. I mean, if it, if, it, if it did, if there was a manager out there that um, would want the job and he was a good manager, fair enough, give it a try. But at the moment, I just don't think we have anyone else available who can do that job. But let me know down in the comments section what you think. Do you think that we need to have a change of manager? Do you think that uh, Roy Hodgson should step aside and somebody else should come in and if they if you do think that who do you think would who we who do you think we could get who is available right now that we could bring in that could do a job for us let me know down in the comments section what you think i'd love to hear your views and as always subscribe for more good crystal palace news views and reviews and that's it